Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 41 degree Thursday, the 14th of December. It's a heavy, like, fog mist. I think it might actually be turning into a light rain. <laughs> supposed to, it actually rained quite a bit last night. Even I thought we were good for the rest of the week. But good thing Friday and Saturday is looking good. But it, it needs, I mean, it needs to dry up because the roads will stay wet. And I got to take back roads all the way back from Lacey. And a lot of that is, you know, shaded back roads. Because you're going through the woods and whatnot, you know. And uh, those things are slow to dry. You know, every corner could be wet. And um, I don't know what they do up there. And the difference, because that's, what, two counties up from us? I mean, they could salt the roads. You never know what different counties do so keep your, keep your fingers crossed got to get that that chrome red beauty home this weekend don't mind let's be nice to ride around at home i hope to do it tomorrow because I, I think saturday's supposed to be a nicest day i mean my mom and i can go for a ride so keep your fingers crossed well it was definitely wet coming here but it's 46 now and it's it turned home. dry okay. again here well, the roads are dry it's parking lot's still wet. But. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah, mama, mama, mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you excited about tomorrow if if the weather's right? Yes. Gonna go up tomorrow, and get the yeah. Christmas bike. Mm -hmm. All that chrome and red on that thing. Yeah. Looks like a Christmas. Blinger, blinger. Christmas ornament. Yes. <laughs> All right, mama. Have All yourself right. a wonderful day. You too. And I'll see you as the day goes on. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye. The alignment begins. I got another F3 out there that Cable did. I got to do, but it's best this one. This is going to be off because <laughs> he told me he didn't make any attempt to make make that side straight because he, he knew it was going to get laser aligned. So I know I got some adjustments made. No, that's cool. Let's get her done. That's my second alignment. I already got her in the in the hopper. I'll take this one for a rip and hold them hole. So yeah, with the uh, straight steering sim in there, it was a it was a breeze to align this thing. <laughs> Come on, Vince. I ain't got all day. There needs to be a, a tech code that we can push. That thing <laughs> that little bicycle chain that that creates the movement on it would probably uh, probably not handle that very well. So it looks like tomorrow, tomorrow and Saturday. Or about the same it was looking that Saturday was gonna be nicer and a degree or two warmer up in Lacey and uh, now it's switched that both days look like they're exactly the same except for Friday tomorrow is gonna be um, the warmer of the two days by like one degree but if the day is gonna be the same I would rather have it at home, and if Saturday's gonna be nice, Kelly and I are talking about um, going for a little rip on her own. And uh, depends how cold it is, she'll take the take the Grom, or or take if it's cold, she'll take the Himalayan. It's got hand guards and the windshield and stuff. All all those little piddly things add up, especially when you're cold sensitive. We'll do a little putt. You'll be the classic 350 and something else so what I was thinking if I, I know most of you guys probably at work or whatever but um we're looking at being there between like 11 I want to be there about 11 but if it looks like it, the temperature is going to take a while to get warm I'll, I'll do it at, at 12 but between 11 and 12 I don't have to is I don't know I, I think I've signed everything for it but if any guys are free, um, 
go to uh, Northwest Harley Davidson and yeah, right in front of me. Go up to Northwest Harley Davidson, we'll just do a little mini meetup. That'd be kind of cool. Plus those guys at uh, North Northwest Harley, they they get a kick out of that. They watch all the all the vlogs, and it's cool. The I think I he was my salesman. I think for the for the slim, his name's Kelly. And uh, man, we used to run around in the same circles way back when, and uh, we know a lot of the same people, and we do you know kind of old time catch up. He goes, you remember so and so? I go, good lord, I haven't even heard that name in a in a you know hundred mo hundred moons, you know, and uh, but it's cool. He remembers all all those people and some of them, you know, I wasn't, to you know, that close to, so I know of them, but just haven't heard of them, heard from him in a long time. He's really into uh, some kind of electric m motocross bike that I guess he's had one on order for I forget how long. It's been a while. It's getting close to uh, to getting. I think they. I think they. They were going to deliver it to his house, and now it's they're creating a dealer network, so you got to do something different. But he's showing a bunch of videos and stuff like that. Good times, and always at Harley shops. All the ones I know of, there's I have, I guess I, guess I should say, there's, there's one that uh, I dealt with is uh, not so friendly and high pressure, and that's. Just so you know, that's against the Harley way of doing things. In fact, so much that I overheard conversations when Indian was coming in on how they want us to treat them, treat people exactly like this is how Harley does it, this is how we do it. And it's a really strict rule to never, never badmouth a Harley when you're trying to sell an Indian ever yeah you do that. people as you know you guys that ride Harleys and the Harleys become very personal very personal they become a they're, they're more than just a a motorcycle they're they become a family member and uh, even if someone is looking at trading one or or you know add an Indian to to the Harley collection you don't want to make the mistake of bad mouth and a Harley and really the only people that bad mouth Harleys are people that truly and I mean truly do not know you know the old saying around motorcycles the first person to bad mouth the Harley is is the first idiot in the group whether you're into them or not you don't you don't have to even like them don't ever badmouth them, because uh, yeah, they're they're a force to be reckoned with. Well, that's I mean, you might not just be into that kind of cruiser, heavy, you know, classic-looking bikes. That's cool. You know, you do you. But uh, yeah, the first person to badmouth a Harley, that's the first loser. And every time, and I mean every time, they're like a newbie, don't know a thing. They're just going by rumors and you know i don't even know how those well it's always that same thing when you're on top you, you have lots of haters people don't they see the numbers and the stats and they're going you know bad mouth the one that's on top but yeah motorcycle is a motorcycle if you're out there riding it don't matter two wheels or three um, you got love for me. You can ride whatever. You know, people think there's these deals that, well, I'm sure there's groups and stuff, but that, you know, I'm riding an Indian, you know, I can't go riding with, with these guys. <laughs> you can. Most Harley people don't care what you ride. That's one very, there's some people that buy the Harley just because they think they're being a part of some image or something 
you know they buy it for all the wrong reasons but if you're a true motorcyclist and you ride harleys you don't care what people ride you're just happy they're out there riding see my boy there today look at that moss Ooh. some quick abs rear action there the old demo so you know i got, <laughs> got fingerprints on it you know how it's got that shiny stuff on the front and uh as i'm putting the windshield on you know you, you can't help but to lean against it whatever so put some smudge marks in there so i clean that up and i'm like oh no so i clean all that and it looks all nice and black and this was just if you guys seen it <laughs> when i had that part together last night it's just dusty and gray it almost looks sun faded you know and uh you i still use that bmw spray uh polish and cleaner it's basically the same as like the honda stuff but i really like that bmw stuff i keep at least a couple cans at home and uh anyway uh that works great on this black plastic and you know you think bmw you think crazy price it's not expensive at all it's no more or less than anybody else it's works really good <clears throat> and it smells just like the old original honda stuff any guys have been around for a while the honda changed the formula and it was messed up for a while because it had something in there that was causing something in the state of california you know good lord can't have that and uh terry took him a while to get that formula straightened out but uh now it works as good as the original but it not quite the same smell you spray that bmw stuff and you go oh yeah that smells just like the honda stuff it's crazy how smell well smell and taste that's your strongest uh, memory senses I like that BMW. But the reason I started that is once I touched that, then I had to do all this and everything matching to it. The mirrors and... Jeez. Spent forever cleaning this thing up. I didn't do the whole bike, but I did everything up front where I was at. So, she looks like better up here. <laughs> and tell you a trick to make... You doing services on bike? If any of you guys starting as mechanics or looking at becoming a mechanic um it's a hard life until you get your you get a crowd and a following and you learn a lot it's a it's, it's a tough living but you can make really good money at this but it takes a while the kids come in and right out of school and they think they know everything number one never ever 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 at any point think you know everything old saying my dad had years ago he goes son the second you think you know everything you stop learning and that there could not be a, a more truer statement i'm very humble and don't claim to know anything i'll help you out with whatever but i don't go around well i know i know anyway servicing motorcycles i know this sounds like the silliest thing ever but I promise you, you will win customers like you've never seen. And you'll wonder why they just love you to death. Do two things, no matter what they're in for. Clean their mirrors and lube their side stand. You won't believe, they don't care what you did. They might have spent a fortune for that service. But their side stand's nice and smooth and their mirrors are clean when they leave. I mean the windshield. You gotta watch who you clean the windshield on. Most BMW people, that thing's nasty. Do not touch it. But clean their mirrors, lube their side stand. First time they throw that side stand out, and they when they drive off and pull the side stand, it goes goes bouncing up like it's supposed to. And they see out of the mirrors, <clears throat> you're instantly a hero. You think that's that may sound funny to you? It's a real thing. <laughs> get my pine needles all over the floorboards here well let's take her back <laughs> I'll never get used to the park brake not sitting where the windshield adjuster is now well she runs like a top she handles like a dream 
Got a bunch of fancy new stuff on it. Front ends all aligned back to factory stats or whatever. <laughs> My mind was somewhere else there for a second. Kicked up a rock into the undercarriage. So, you know, most Hondas and stuff, they, all the pans underneath the engine and all that stuff, they're all plastic. Daggum Acura, everything is is a really nice aluminum and stuff. Or tin, I don't know what it's made out of, but good lord. That thing, ding, ding, going down our dirt road, flipping rocks, and all you hear this, ding, ding, ding. Sometimes they flip up and get in there, or they have an easy path for them to escape. So, you know, that first mile or two, if uh, you ever see a white Acura going down the highway out there where I live, don't get close to me, because <laughs> them rocks come back out. <laughs> you hear them go ding, and then it hits the ground and goes whack, 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 hitting the other ones as it's passing through. At first, you just go, what, Kelly's like, what is that? Is that another rock we picked up? But anyway, dadgummit. The time's not right. Well, I don't know. What is the time? Well, I'll look it up. Anyway, I need to get in there align the next one here. Got to get done by the end of the day. Thanks for coming along for a rip. I won't record the second one. But uh, uh, think about it in your mind. It's the same thing. It's just an F3. <laughs> All right. Well, hello there, you two. Before, before I forget, yesterday there was one other thing that Terry, um, with the painting in the... Um, the thumb wheels, there was a beautiful Christmas card oh, in there. Oh, gorgeous. Should have pulled Absolutely that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I should have pulled that out and shown you guys. That was really cool. It had like, like the... Embroidering? Or what do you call oh, that it's when like it's that, raised? Yeah, it's like paper filigree type. It's called something, oh. but I don't know the name of it. But yeah. it's really, really pretty. Yeah. Uh, Calgary was freaked out. I thought it was really cool. Calgary oh, that's what I'm talking about. Her and her artsy, crafty stuff. Yes. But that, yeah, that was cool. So thanks again, Terry. Yes. That was really cool. It's not Christmas yet. We'll try to bring, bring that thing out. Yeah. But I think I got everything ready. I got, um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> got itch. Um, I already thrown my jacket and everything in the um, car ready. I got to get my helmet stuff tomorrow, and that's about it. Bring a little little tool thing there. I'm going to change that shift lever before I spend the first two hours on that thing. I think pointing down. <laughs> but uh, that'll be exciting. New motorcycle. It's raining now. It's supposed to stop. Yeah. So they say. I didn't think it was supposed to rain now, but it is. Very it's light, gonna, but it's, it's raining. It's stop. Yeah. All right. Then. So it'll be an exciting day tomorrow. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. I sure am. Yes. But uh, we'll go from that. We'll see you uh, on the Classic 350 tomorrow. Be nice. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. All right. And we'll see you in the morning. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>